Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is actually going to be a pretty small Bath & Body Works haul. This is from an online order that I did on Easter when they had 40% off the whole site. I picked up just a few little things here and there and I'm just going to go ahead and share them with you. So the first thing that I really wanted to get for a while now, I wasn't sure if I was going to use a coupon for it or just, I, I don't know, but I'm really glad that it was 40% off because I never wanna pay full price for these. And that is a candle holder. So this is the pineapple gold candle holder. Um, this was $15.95, 40% off. So I paid $7.66. I think that's a really good deal. Um, I actually don't really like the pineapple pedestal, but it was the only one, um, still available online that hadn't sold out yet and that wasn't like $30. So I think I'm literally just gonna go in store and exchange this with another one that is $15.95 also. Um, but I paid $7, $7.66 for it, so I feel really good about the price on this. Um, it's just not really my style. I want something that I can use kind of year round, um, not just like summertime, um, that I can kind of just like leave up either on my dresser or maybe on my bedside table, maybe just something gold or silver or black something kind of simple but really elegant but i do like that it's a pedestal i really love the pedestal shaped holders from bath and body works i don't want something that will sit on my furniture i just feel weird about that um because candles get so hot i'd rather have them like elevated and i just think it looks prettier so this is the first thing that i picked up and the next couple of things i've been meaning to pick up ever since they came back um, and that is whipped vanilla chiffon. I got it in the body lotion and in the fine fragrance mist. So this was, let's see, the fine fragrance mist was $7.44 and the lotion was $6.48. And actually they did have um, a few of the items online for like, I think $5 or $6.50 or something uh, in the morning. Um, but I missed out on that, so I didn't get them for that good deal, but it's okay. I still got them for a good deal, and they are online exclusives, so, I mean, when am I really going to get the chance to pick these up? But, yeah, this is Wild Vanilla Bean Spun Sugar and White Peach Blossom. I'm going to show you guys the packaging up close. Really, really pretty. This is actually from the, um, or it's originally from the Mother's Day line last year in 2020, which is pretty much right around this time last year. This came out for the first time and it was right when COVID hit. So of course it didn't really like, you know, nobody went crazy over it because you couldn't even go in stores. Um, but they probably didn't hear about all the feedback until maybe a few months ago, really. A lot of people had been talking about how good it was and how they wish it would come back. Now to me, I definitely get like the white peach blossom. It has like a slight nectarine, um, like fruity aspect to it, but that vanilla is so yummy and it's really cozy. I think this, the vanilla in this reminds me of the vanilla in Vanilla Mocha Cafe. So if you liked that scent, um, not necessarily like for the coffee slash um, chocolate aspect, but for the vanilla aspect, I think you'd really, really like this. And it's almost like a revamped version for spring slash summer with like that white peach blossom. And I don't think it's too floral either. I am not a floral gal. I really don't enjoy florals that much. But this one I actually wore yesterday and I thought it was really good. I can definitely see wearing this year round and it be, being totally fine. But also I could really see me wearing this in the spring and summer and having a lot of joy putting this on. Yeah, so it's just like a beautiful, especially if you love vanilla scents, I think this one is definitely a must have. And if I get it in a fine fragrance mist and I keep it, that means I really like it. So yeah, definitely excited to have these. This is actually the only like spring slash summer scented lotion I have in my collection right now. Um, so very excited to start using this. Everything else I have is like leftover from winter or fall. So yeah, gonna be using this starting really soon. But yeah, I think it's just like a nice simple scent um, for spring and summer. Nothing too florally, nothing too crazy, but it is like nice and elegant as well. And the last thing I have, don't yell at me, okay, is Country Apple. And I got this for $6. Okay, 
There's a story behind this, I swear. Um, okay, so I got Sweater Weather, the shower gel, last year in the fall. And for me, it was a little too masculine. It was kind of cologne-y and I just couldn't stand it. So I left it in the shower and I said, hey, brother, if you want it, you can have it, you can use it, whatever. And he used it every now and then and he started really, really liking it. And finally he ran out of his other shower gel that he had been using and used that exclusively for the past like two months. He only used Sweater Weather shower gel and he is obsessed with it. And as you know, you cannot get Sweater Weather right now. It doesn't come out, uh, but only in the fall. So I mean, it'll be out pretty soon. Probably in August it'll come out again and I can pick up some for him. But for now, I wanted to get him something to tide him over because he really, really liked it. And I don't think like our family is a little sensitive to very strong scents especially if they're like floral or super masculine like cologne axe body spray kind of scents um we're very adverse to it we do have asthma so sometimes those scents trigger our asthma so i didn't want to get him like something from the men's line i almost thought about getting him like um eucalyptus spearmint or something like stress relief but um i noticed that this had that same there's a few notes on here that are the same as sweater weather. So this has Macintosh apple, apple blossom, fresh nougat, sheer sunlight, and orchard woods. So I think in sweater weather, there's orchard woods and apple. Um, and so I thought they would be kind of similar, but honestly, it smells like Jolly Ranchers. It is super fruity or even like fruit by the foot. That's what it smells like. So I kind of really like the scent myself so i think i'm gonna steal this from him um he doesn't really like it um but i do have some things coming in from mercari for him i have a few sweater weather shower gels coming in from from mercari for him because i'm a good sister and i found them on a good good deal so but yeah i, I picked this up originally for him um but i think i'm actually going to keep it for myself and just use it um because I do kind of like it. It really smells like fruit by the foot. So if you've ever had fruit by the foot, you know what that smells like. That's what this smells like. It smells like candy. I could really see myself using that in like the heat of summer just to like cool off and like feel refreshed, you know? But yeah, that's my tiny little haul from Easter. And um, let me know if you guys picked up anything during the Easter sale. I thought that was a really good deal. Um, the only bad part was it was online only, of course, because the stores were closed for Easter day. But 40% off of everything is a really, really good deal. So I'm definitely happy that I picked up a pedestal. I will, however, be uh, exchanging this for a more simple design. But yeah, that's everything that I have for this video. Let me know down below if you guys want a review of Whipped Vanilla Chiffon, like a specific review just for this. Let me know down below in the comments and um, if enough people say it, then maybe I'll do that. Um, I need to actually like, test use this for the next like week or so if I'm going to be doing a review. So yeah, let me know so I can start testing it. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.